Hi, welcome back to my channel. So this week I am going to be sharing with you the flea medicine that I use for my ferrets. Say hi, boo. For those of you who have seen my previous videos, you know um, a couple things. One, that I take my ferrets outside a lot, and also that um, I have other animals. Specifically, I have dogs and cats, and some, my dogs for sure go outside, and I do have, let's see, two of my cats go outside. Um, so therefore they can also bring in fleas. So if you're wondering if your ferrets can get fleas, the answer is absolutely. Um, they can absolutely get fleas. And you cannot use the same medicines all the time that you use for kittens or dogs. Although there is flea medicine that the same flea medicine that you use for kitten or dogs, you can use for ferrets. The dosage is often much different. And not all flea medicine for dogs and cats can be used on ferrets. So I'm not gonna tell you what kind of flea medicine to get your ferret. I will tell you what my vet um, has me use for my ferrets and then you can talk to your vet and um, maybe see what they recommend. So if you're ever wondering if your ferrets have fleas, you're gonna wanna look like behind, you wanna look at yourself. Oh, say hi. It's over here, buddy. Say it's over here, buddy. It's over here, Bubba. Look, look at the mama. Oh, boo. Okay, so you wanna look behind their ears and on their tummies and they hide really good in ferrets. I've only ever really had a flea infestation one time um, and it was very brief, thank God. And we got it under control and then now we're good to go, right? But I will tell you that your ferrets can get fleas and that it, um, you know, it may start off slow and you may not notice it. Um, they, ferrets itch a little bit in general anyway. So um, it may be hard to tell if they have a flea or two, but if they are infested, you will know it. They will itch and they will bite them and, um, and they will get into their bedding just like they do with dogs and cats. And it can actually make your ferret very sick if you have a flea infestation and you don't know it or you let it go on, it can cause them to become anemic um, and some other health issues. Although, most of the time you would probably notice that your ferret has fleas long before it got to that point would be i would hope um so anyway for my ferret um my vet prescribed us revolution it is for kittens and puppies under five pounds um and it is not it is not the revolution plus that will hurt your ferrets but i'm sure that your vet will know that and you have to get this by prescription so i wouldn't worry about getting the wrong thing I would have faith in your vet that they would prescribe you the correct medication. So we use Revolution. I use this once a month on my ferrets, on each of them. And uh, it does fleas, but it also treats ear mites, heartworm, and one type of tick. It treats um, the American dog tick. So you can also, if you wanted to see if your ferrets have fleas, you could get a flea comb or something and you could run it through their fur and um, you may get a flea or two. I'm gonna do it just to show you, but I don't think we'll get anything, but we'll try. Oh, you don't like it? Can I do it? Okay, just just gonna wanna, I'm just gonna hold them like this and just brush like this. Um, he does not have any fleas right now. Some of that dirt on there is from my cat. Um, I have a kitten and he came as a little flea bag, so he will bite me in the face. So he is um, he's a sweetie, but he's a nibbler. He's more of a nibbler than the other three. They're kind of lovey. The two girls will give kisses. Um, this one will nibble your ears and your face. Don't you nibble the face? Did you nibble the face? So we're gonna show you how to put some flea medicine on your ferrets. And if you have any questions, please let me know. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and please click the like button for us. Say thank you. And uh, without further ado, we're gonna get started. Now you wanna do right in the shoulder blades, right here. And just. And that's it. And then it'll dry.
because apparently they must have had a plea or two on them. Okay, so that was basically how you do it. Um, just in between the shoulder blades and you just squirt it and um, you don't want to like squirt it in and re-squirt it because it sucks the medicine back in. So you kind of want to just do one squirt and you want to pull up. Um, that's the best way to do it. If not, you just suck the medicine back in the tube. So, um, you know, I don't know. They do pretty good. Um, it'll dry within two hours relatively quickly. If you noticed, um, Weasel was itching a little bit and that is because I'm about three days late with their flea medication. I had to go get it this weekend from the vet when I took the kitten for his last shot and um, I was a dose short. I have four ferrets. So buying flea medicine um, gets really expensive and I just was a dose. They come, only come in three packs and I needed four. So I had to go and get a fourth dose. Actually, I went and got a whole nother like 12 of them, but either way. Um, so they were like three days short. And as you could see, Weasel was itching, which means that they probably had a flea or two on them, which I don't want because I don't want them in my house. I have entirely too many animals to have fleas and take over. Um, so it's really important for me at least to keep them flea treated. It's also super expensive. So what I will tell you is, is um, having ferrets is not cheap. It's expensive. Any animal is expensive. Um, they require vet visits just like your cat and dog do every year. Uh, when Weasel was a baby, he broke his leg. That was a very, very, very expensive surgery. He was about three months old. And I'll do a video on that um, just to kind of tell you kind of what happened and what it took to fix it. And if you notice in some videos, he limps. And that's because he broke his leg when he was a baby and he had to have an external pin put in. Um, it was just gross, but I felt so bad for him. But he's better now. He still has a little limp. He'll always have a limp, but he's my buddy. He's my baby. So if you like this video, please remember to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. And if there are any videos that you want me to do in the future or any ideas that you have that you would like to see, please let me know and I will be more than happy to try to do a video on whatever it is you requested. Thank you.